my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, the reason you haven't heard from me from last, uh, I would say, 10 days is the time being spent on research on gold and silver and see we're interested where exactly we are in the longer term frame or patterns of Elliott wave analysis so I'm happy to say that I have concluded that research has took me a lot of time and a lot of calculations to do uh, a lot of historical um, analysis as well so I have concluded that where exactly gold and silver would actually go and uh, the price of Go, uh, gold I have some approximation where exactly is expected to go but for silver we need a little more data and we need a little more time so we can actually see where exactly uh, the prices are going to be and we are going to discuss that if you're interested in seeing that that would be uh, coming uh, in next uh, I would say a week or so uh, let me know if in the comment section definitely that long-term research that uh, I'm going to put on is um, going to cost something all right so it's not going to be freely available on YouTube. Uh, if you are still interested in looking at smaller time frame analysis, uh, I would say a few days terms of analysis, you can keep uh, tuned on to the YouTube channel and you'll actually keep on getting that. But for longer time frame analysis, where exactly gold and silver are heading in terms of the, uh, you know, uh, the longer time frame analysis, is you'll be able to um, head back to my Patreon page, which I would be putting a link on in, uh, in I would say next uh, in next week or so. So enough of that. First of all, the labeling of smaller time frame last uh, 10 days, I would say, is uh, last two weeks, uh, two to three weeks is in front of you. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to see where exactly gold is expected. Uh, are we ever even going to get a, a chance to get into the market? The price of gold has exactly gone almost around $200 from the bottom right over here. We had a bottom at 1805 and then we uh, created a new one at 220, uh, $2,009. That's a astonishing $200 addition. Uh, to eighteen hundred dollar that's almost like um, how much percentage is a uh, ten percent in the price of gold uh, in last two to three weeks so would we get actually a chance to get into the trend yes we would definitely get a chance to trend to get into the trend but we need to understand uh, what sort of uh, price behavior is expected first of all forget about the uh, the beautiful flat corrections okay because they give you a lot of time uh, you here is a flat correction. We can actually draw it here. Uh, we can say that we, the flat corrections normally give you a lot of time uh, to think and to get into the trade. And you know, a lot of people gather um, and get mm, and the price is moving. This is not going to happen in gold for now, at least. Okay, so forget about this pattern. What we are seeing is this particular pattern that we are seeing zigzag, double zigzag, triple zigzag. We are going to see basically. Price is coming down all the way right over here. This is my uh, analysis in, and then we'll get a chance of the price of gold, whether either actually uh, falling down to 50% of the previous move, or we can actually say 62.5% of the previous move too, and then and from there the price will go up again, uh, creating a f completing a fifth wave. So here is the fifth wave, the this one orange one, uh, sorry wave one, and this is wave two and wave three, and we are now expecting wave four or something like this, and then we'll see a wave five. Within wave three, you can see there is a clear labeling. This green one is wave one and two, three and four, and then fifth wave is further subdivided. So we have wave three subdivided into three waves, and within that three waves, the fifth wave is also further subdivided. Uh, this is the labeling that I'm seeing right now. In next few days, definitely, uh, I would say not new next few days. This price movement is expected to happen sharply, and we'll get a chance. So if you have uh, not got into the trade, um, be ready to get that. So this is a hundred percent price movement that we have in front of us. Let me draw that tool again, uh, right over here. So we are expecting, I think this tick is uh, somewhere over here. We are expecting the price of gold to drop around 1908, which is 50%. And if it drops just one step below, it's 1883. So two important targets expected. This price movement is going to be sharper. And it will get, uh, I would say, be over probably within uh, three, four days, I would say. And I am not going to advise uh, to trade the negative side, okay? Because there is a possibility the way the momentum is going, there is could there be possibility that my analysis is wrong? There is absolutely a possibility that analysis is wrong and price actually shoots up all the way over here. 
but we are weighing our uh, probabilities and we are expecting a correction as far as Elliott wave analysis is concerned as soon as price drops below uh, forget about once again forget about this being happening okay don't don't think that's gonna happen uh, we are in a bullish uh, market right now in gold and silver and um, the price the moment price drops just take benefit from it take small trades and go long on gold and silver as far as the long-term fund analysis is concerned uh, in one of my previous video actually the previous video I forecasted uh, that my understanding of WD GAN cycles definitely have been improved I keep on referring to uh, cycle analysis and thanks God before uh, we were actually uh, seeing uh, this sharper move I said that there is a larger pattern is that the mm, gold is in a bullish market okay and we have seen sharply price movement going up two hundred dollars so you can refer back to my analysis and I posted that video before uh, the uh, uh, this particular two hundred dollar move that happened so uh, could we uh, I wasn't exactly looking for a such a quick jump but it did happen but on long term from an analysis on cycles basis we are definitely in a bullish and a, a market in gold and silver on a smaller time frame analysis if you want to keep hearing more we are expecting price drop in gold and silver and then price is expected to go up let's have a look and see silver where silver is exactly happening and see if we can actually find out uh, the pattern let's have a look at actually 15 minute chart uh, so we can spot on what's happening so this jump that's happened about ten dollars uh, from the bottom that here right over here is good is good all right so I would think that we can actually short it on a 15 minute time frame make sure that your stop loss do not go beyond 2000, 2009 all right so if you want to short the market why not uh, take benefit of it but be really careful put smaller money uh, into the trade and put your stop loss not beyond 2009 we are expecting for the price to go down from over here let's have a look at silver and I think uh, I did not add the chart into this okay let me have a really quickly look at the silver and and I think this was uh, an ice commodity okay I wanna see the, the monthly time frame analysis yeah this is good it, it, this one goes really all the far back so I can add this chart to um, give me a moment okay I want to add this to my watch list. Add to watch list. Watch list. Awesome. Just add it right now. So let's have a look on a smaller time frame. I have done much of research on gold. Uh, I need some more time to help on silver for long time frame analysis. For a smaller time frame analysis, we definitely have uh, some um, input on it and see where exactly the price are expected to be so right now I'm expecting a clear drop up to a 50% uh, in the price of silver okay from this range I'm expecting the price of silver to be uh, somewhere around 50% a drop is expected which is 2132 right now that would actually make the price of silver to sit on the top of previous stop that we have seen right over here so the price is expected to sit on top of this this would give us definitely some uh, good trading opportunity to go long on silver if you have been uh, you know if you missed the trading opportunity we are expecting a pullback downwards okay and that pullback is of a pattern just a bit different uh, from what we are seeing in in gold right now and since the labeling is going to be different so you can make sense of what I'm expecting right now here okay this pattern included with this pattern basically an expanded flat pattern expected in uh, in silver which actually puts on uh, more weight that as soon as this leg is complete we are definitely going to see stronger price movement in silver so the correction within ABC uh, uh, sorry the correction force within the trend impulsive trend is expected to create a pullback and definitely that definitely is going to create some good trading opportunities if you are interested in seeing I can actually um, make the labeling a little more interest as well and I'm considering this whole pattern to be an A right over here 
and this pattern to be B right over here and an expect thing that we are going to see a 5F structure right over here creating an A, a double zigzag as B and a 5F structure as C. So if as soon as the structure is complete we are expected we have a structural support on this pattern as well and we have support on this one as well. This gives a 50% so that's the reason I have drawn the line. So I'm expecting the clear 5F structure right over here giving uh, us an opportunity to go long. And uh, the long term frame analysis for silver, especially for price wise, I'll wait a little more to give more uh, price targets on, on silver. Uh, but for gold, I have an idea when the gold is exacted, is exacted, uh, is exactly going to create a top. That's, r that's right. When uh, um, and what price is expected to create uh, that we are going to see a top because if you look uh, look at the long term frame of analysis in gold and silver we have especially in gold gold is showing a one two three four structure already so the important question is how far the gold is expected to go when is expected to create a top and what is expected to happen after that wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye